News 13 is your source for in-depth Florida Decides coverage of the major races on the ballot. Three Republicans are trying to unseat U.S. Representative Alan Grayson, the Democratic incumbent in Florida's 9th District. But first, they have to face each other in the August 26th primary election. News 13 reporter Amanda McKenzie talked with each of the GOP candidates about why they think they have what it takes to win. They all share conservative values and agree that the economy is in need of repair. They're busy earning votes and raising money for their campaigns, but they all come from very different backgrounds. Carol Platt is putting her sign in the ground for her first run for office. Endorsed by former Governor Jeb Bush, she says it is her track record that sets her apart. A former realtor, she is now an association executive for Osceola County's Association of Realtors and says her network throughout the community runs wide. I want to bring real progress to this district, and I think that comes uh, from promoting free market enterprise and providing opportunities for the private sector to grow. Her opponent, Jorge Benilla, also believes in the free market. He served in the Marine Corps Reserve as well as the United States Navy and is currently a freelance interpreter. He had to resign from his work as a court interpreter in the Ninth Judicial Circuit to run for Congress. Relating my professional experience to my candidacy as a court interpreter, you have to uh, process large amounts of information very quickly and be able to relay it uh, in a manner that, that is understood by all. Bania is also pursuing a bachelor's degree in business at this time. His opponent, Peter Vivaldi, is a business developer and former youth pastor. Before this run for Congress, Vivaldi made a run for Orange County School Board. While he did not win that race, Vivaldi says he will take those same education issues to Washington. Students in the United States are $1 trillion in debt right now, and that's because of student loans and the, and the interest rates that they're having to pay. And there's something that the federal government can do, and I want to be a part of that. And speaking of money, here's a breakdown for funds raised by the Republican candidates in U.S. District 9. Platt leads the way with about $270,000. Bonilla has raised a little over $200,000, and Vivaldi has about $50,000. These funds pale in comparison to the amount of money Democrat incumbent Alan Grayson has to spend on his campaign. But before one of these candidates goes head-to-head -head with a Democratic opponent, they'll first have to see what Republican voters say on August 26th. In Orlando, Amanda McKenzie, News 13. The winner of the Republican primary will move on to November's general election to face the winner of the Democratic primary for District 9. Representative Alan Grayson is being challenged by UCF professor Nick Ruiz.